All right, so here we are in Chivalry Remastered, and we're going to be doing a playthrough uh, of, of one of the factions on the big map, Cursey's Big Map submod for Chivalry Remastered. And, you know, I consider it's not fair to myself, it's not fair to Atromb, it's not fair to Cursey for me not to have a full playthrough on the channel of this mod. It's so nice, it, it's very nice and polished right now. Uh, especially the big map campaign is looking really, really nice. So we're going to do a nice playthrough here. And, you know, let's go and play through, uh, do a playthrough as the uh, faction that's unique to Chivalry Remastered. I don't believe it's present in other, many other medieval mods of this grand scale. Let's play as the Kingdom of Pamplona. So let's uh, start the campaign here. All right, so here we are on the big map for Chivalry Remastered by Kersey and Atromb. Kersey, of course, created the map and Atromb really refined the start positions. So here we have the Kingdom of Pamplona. And Pamplona is, of course, one of the smaller factions at the start. Kind of on the decline here in 1072. But, you know, let's get them out of the ashes. So our faction leader here, Anso, or Sancho, has got some spear militia and archers. So let's see if with this uh, humble force, we can uh, move in and take Zaragoza. All right, let's besiege Zaragoza there. And let's, uh, we don't have too much of a starting treasury, but our economy is actually pretty good. All things considered, Pamplona is a, a pretty nice province in terms of uh, riches. So let's go for a land ownership. That'll increase our tax income a little bit from the start. What can we recruit from the start here? We've got uh, Hueste, Apellidos, and uh, Jinetes. So you know what? I think we should go for uh, Jinetes at the moment. Jinetes and uh, Hueste. And uh, yeah, land ownership. Let's do land ownership in both Pamplona and Najera. And uh, yeah, again, the standard thing at the start of the early era campaign in Chivalry Remastered, we've got the Banu Hilal and the Pechenegs as horde factions. So let's, uh, of course, we also have emergent factions, right? We've got Portugal as an emergent faction and the Crusader States as an emergent faction. So it's a very dynamic campaign, especially on the big map. It gives it the scale it needs to make it really dynamic. Okay, so we've got Zarag the Zaragozan army here, but our army is uh, pretty comparable. So I think we should be able to take him out and take Zaragoza. Once we, once we take Zaragoza, we'll be uh, basically one of the strongest kingdoms in the northern part of the Iberian Peninsula. And we should be able to go and uh, take out Aragon, a rival, and perhaps Barcelona as well. All right, so here we are in battle. Let's take a look at our Pamplonan forces. We've got Pamplona and battle, um, battle banners. And we've got our Pamplona and general, which was by uh, Hellspawn. And our uh, Pamplona and knights. Here, and archers as well, nicely recolored. They look pretty good, actually. And our spear militia, looking pretty good as well. So let's put our king, Sancho, Anso on the left and our prince on the right. Let's group our guys here. So let's put our archers in the front. Oh, they've only got some archers there. So let's have our king uh, chase down those archers. And let's have our prince here. move his troops to counter the enemy Mu'alad bodyguards who are going to go against us.
Yeah, so those archers are going down. Are the Mu'alads going to go back to their army like smart people? No, they are not. So let's actually have Sancho take down those guys. And we'll move our other cavalry there to flank. Be good. Our knights are now in, com uh, in combat with the Muwalad bodyguards there. So let's have uh, Raimundo. Ooh. He was cut down. Let's have Raimundo flank their bodyguards. Let's have our infantry set up here. I'm sure the bodyguards are going to be taken down by that time. Let's turn off the... Um, yeah, those markers there. This is a different computer. All right, I think their general got away there, unfortunately. But let's get our troops... Uh, let's get our cavalry here to flank them. What, cav what other cavalry do they have? They have Hinetes there. Oh, our infantry are getting a little ahead of themselves. Ah, their Hinetes are going to do good damage here if I don't uh, move quickly. Okay, let's move in our Spear Militia to sort of pin them down. All right, so they've got their Andalusian Infantry engaged with our Spear Militia and their Heavy Infantry as well. But I think... Yeah, our Spear Militia are actually not doing well against their Andalusian Heavy Infantry, which is understandable. Our cavalry are hitting their Hinetes pretty hard, but actually, uh, we've got to maneuver a bit better here. We're taking casualties. I think we're overwhelming them, though. All right, so our other... Yeah, the, no, their Andalusian infantry is uh, far better than our spear militia. So we've got to flank quickly. Let's have the faction air come back here and uh, charge. Oh. Oh, our spear militia really did not do well against their Andalusian heavy infantry. So you know what? Let's have the king come back here too. Come back here for some uh, flankage. Okay, those guys routed. That's good. Now we should be able to take down the heavy infantry. There we go. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay. Well, we, we did take more casualties than I wanted. But all things considered. Uh, we didn't do that badly. Okay, so let's exit the battle here. Alright, so we're back in the campaign map here. Zaragoza. Yeah, their faction leader was able to escape the battle. I believe Zaragoza has another city. Or, po possibly. So we are constructing our buildings. We're actually in the positive in terms of our economy. And things are looking pretty good. I suppose... Yeah, let's get our... Uh, 
jinetes, our extra troops, to the king there. And we have a spear militia that's not doing so well. So let's send him back to Nahera and uh, retrain him if we can. Oh, we can't. Well, anyway, I wonder if we should train up some more jinetes. I think we should. I'll do that. So let's just uh, end the turn until we finish the Siege of Zaragoza. So let's keep the siege going. We're in a good position here. No reason to rush. Let's do some construction. So if we do control posts, we'll be able to... We'll increase our tax income and we'll get spear militia. Uh, in terms of recruitment. So you know what? Yeah, let's go for control posts in the capital so we can retrain our spear militia. And let's keep the siege going. All right, so Zaragoza has fallen. Uh, let's do uh, enslave. Because we have some work to do in terms of uh, public order. That's also why it's good to um, hold off on siege assaults, because... Your uh, faction leaders have uh, Catholic conversion, or have religious conversion, so it's good to do some conversion prior to um, uh, actually taking the city. It encourages you to hold off on siege assaults, which I think is good. So let's uh, destroy the mosque here of Zaragoza. And let's construct churches. So let's uh, decrease the tax here. And let's, yeah, let's construct a church here. So that'll take six turns. That's not so bad. Uh, let's check the religious situation here. Yeah, so Islam is more powerful at the moment uh, because, of course, Zaragoza is surrounded by Huesca, and Muslim cities to the south too, so we are in a bit of a t in a in a bit of a bind here. So that's why I can't move my troops. I wonder if I could take my faction heir and challenge this Zaragozan army to the north. Can I take some of my best troops and go fight them? Oh, it's a little bit of a tough situation. Um, it's windy here. There's no direct route from Zaragoza to Huesca. No, we have to keep our troops in Zaragoza. How about if I take the king out? Nope. We'll... Okay, we'll, we'll leave him here in Zaragoza. What just happened? What happened to public order? It was at 80. Public order was just 80. That is very strange. Anyway, uh, I hope we can handle this. Let's recruit some uh, archers. Let's get some archers over here too. Oh, public order is 80. Okay. It was just showing something weird for a second. Anyway, ceasefire here, Byzantines and the Sultanate of Rome. All right, let's end the turn here. At least with Zaragoza, our e economy is in even better shape right now. So I, I'm hoping that we can consolidate Zaragoza, uh, go for Huesca, probably after we make the church in Zaragoza. That way we can put more religious pressure on Huesca too. And then we can go from there. Okay, can we retrain? Yes, we can. Very good. Let's get some archers going as a kind of garrison unit. And let's make an emissary. I don't believe we have any. Yeah, we don't have any emissaries. So let's make an emissary in Pamplona. Okay, Zaragoza is at 90%, so that's good. Our church is going to take four more turns. Once the church is done, we'll be in a good spot here. Okay, so what should we construct in Pamplona? I guess let's do control posts. 
And then we'll go for a Spear Maker next turn. I'm thinking we'll have enough money. Yeah, we ha we'll have enough money. Okay. So let's... Uh, oh, a new homeland for who? The Banu Hilal have a new homeland. Let's actually take a look at the rest of the world at the moment. Show off this. This actually might be a good conclusion to this episode here. So we've got um, Granada in a pretty good situation here in southern Spain. We've got Denia holding its areas. We've got uh, Seville. We've got the Almo uh, Almoravids with their giant empire. We've got the uh, Hamadids in kind of this Algeria region. And the Banu Hilal. Oh, the Banu Hilal have taken Vijaya. And uh, that's their capital now. So they've kind of, they've settled in Vijaya. Interesting. Interesting. Usually they cause a little more chaos than that, but settling there is fine. And we've got the Zirids doing what they're doing over there. We've got... Uh, um, Syracuse, the Emirate of Syracuse, fighting against the uh, Normans here in Sicily. The Byzantine Empire has made peace with the Sultanate of Rome, which has taken a few more provinces. And then uh, Armenian Kilikia has taken Anazarbus. The Fatimids and the Seljuks are fighting here in kind of the center of the Fatimid Empire, as well as in Syria. And yeah, not much else is going on here. We've got the Shadadids and the Georgians going at it. And then, of course, in the Far East, we have new factions. Uh, the Eastern Karakhanids, Western Karakhanids, the Cumans, who extend all the way here to Central Asia. And... The Ghaznavids, of course, the last faction here on the border with the Grand Seljuk Empire. And the Grand Seljuks have, of course, the biggest faction at the moment. We've got the Abbasids, of course, added in Chivalry Remastered. And yeah, the Byzantines are actually doing pretty well, all things considered, and the Bulgarians doing poorly in their region. Okay, so let's get back to Pamplona here. And let's at least finish our churches before we um, uh, sign off for this first episode of this playthrough. I don't know why we're scrolling. If things get a little choppy with the map, it, I think it's because I'm actually not running this on an SSD on this computer. It's running on an HDD. It's not doing that badly. Chugging a little bit. Of course, Romy Mastered loves SSDs. All right, Pamplona is doing the control posts. So let's go for a Spear Maker in Najera. Yeah, we don't have, we're not doing too well in terms of the financial situation. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, Zaragoza, we need those churches before we'll be able to go on campaign here. And then even then, I need to leave the king in Zaragoza. Kingdom of Leon, cancel everything. That's not good. I don't want to fight with Leon. I don't want to fight with Aragon either. Oh boy. Things are getting tough. Things are getting tough. I should have focused more on recruitment. Uh, two turns until our churches are done. Okay, let's get our faction air out of Zaragoza. How about with the Hinetes? How many troops do they have? Okay. The Aragonese only have a few troops there. So let's, let's rush there with some cavalry and lift the siege. It seems like they're just sieging us with uh, 300 infantrymen. So we should be able to take them down with our elite cavalry and jinetes. 
And then once we do that, um, I wonder if it'll be easier to take down Aragon, destroy them, and then go for Huesca after that. Because it's, of course, harder to take Muslim settlements and consolidate them than it is to uh, take other Christian ones, other Catholic ones. I should say. All right, our Pamplonan banners flying high. Let's have our Hinetes kind of flank here because they, they're Jav Cav. They're Javelin Cavalry. These are our Hinetes looking very nice indeed. And the Aragonese troops with the Ar early era Aragonese banners. And the general, again by Hellspawn, I believe. Very nice general. In, uh, okay, so we've got archers too. Let's just send them there to kind of uh, bombard. Yeah, let's bombard from the flank. Let's have our jinetes skirmish. They're actually doing a pretty good defensive formation. I am surprised. Yeah, our javelins actually took down a few of them, even though they have pretty big shields. So that's a good sign. Okay, let's have our king kind of charge at those spear militias, since I think we can take them down pretty easily. Sergeants are better against cavalry than spear militia. Very good charge there. Very good charge. Okay, let's have the Hinetes hit them from the back. Oh. Well, that was easy. Well, they didn't even have a general with them, so things turned out pretty well, all things considered. I think we can just run them down now. Yep, we got him. Okay. Clear victory. Okay, so actually we're in a pretty tough position here because all things considered, Leon seems like they're getting ready to attack us. Aragon has just attacked us. And we are not yet done sort of pacifying Zaragoza. So we're in a tough spot here. We're at war with the Zaragozans, who still have Huesca, which is a pretty uh, powerful settlement right there. So, yeah, I guess first order of business for the next episode is going to be take out the Kingdom of Aragon, take them out as an anti-Pamplona faction, and then move in in sort of a pincer against uh, Zaragoza, take them out, pacify Huesca, and then move against Leon, since I believe that's going to be inevitable. And then, of course, once we do that, we can kind of focus on ourselves as a um, uh, Reconquista faction and build the Reconquista buildings and focus on the Muslim factions to the south. So, in any case, I hope you like this uh, episode if you enjoy the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel, check out Chivalry Remastered and the Big, Mo Big Map submod by Kersey and Atromb. I'll have links in the description. They really deserve it. it. It's a really, really grand campaign. Like, you won't be disappointed. And I'll see you in the next one later.